everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the next question on our sample exam. So we've got the same two-way table. And again, I, I tend to go through and write out the totals. I find it helps me. Um, I, ha I usually even do this before I read the question. Also, because I just like adding. <laughs> All right, let me get some totals in here. So we've got, what, this would be 33. This was, I think, 117. That would total out to 150. Let's see if we get the same numbers here. This would be 62. This would be 88. That would also total out to 150. Great. So if we ever want to go from a table to a Venn, and it's a two by two, and when I say two by two, I mean there are two categories, right, with two options each. And... If we're looking at this, I say it's a two by two because grade level is a categorical variable, right? And so there's two options there. And then where you get your news from is also a, a categorical variable, and there's two options there. So anytime you have a two by two in a table, it'll map nicely onto a Venn, but you need to focus on the four numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me, got something in my throat. The four numbers that are your frequency counts, not actually the totals. So this 13, 49, 20, and 68, they need to map into one of these four areas. And when I say the four areas, there's anytime you have this two by two Venn, you've got your left moon, you've got your right moon, you've got the football in here, and then you've got the complement, the rest of the universe. So just right out the gate, I can see that this is not gonna be our answer because there's no number here. Right, so I, I need to now narrow this down between a option, well, this first option and this second option for A. So let's see where we are here. So if I take a look, and let me go ahead and erase all my scribbles here. All right, so the, the two events they're asking us to look at are eighth grade and internet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the colors here and I'm gonna go with the eighth grade column, excuse me, eighth grade row and the internet column. And I like to start with the overlap. So I see that the overlap is 68. And that's the overlap on a table. So if I want to go to the overlap on a Venn, that's the football. And if I look at these two Vens, I see a 68 here and a 20 here. And that's, that's enough to get me my answer. I know that's the correct answer. But let's just play the rest of this out just so we can have um, some uh, practice with it. So if you look at what's going on here, oops, let me go ahead and get a different color. This, these 49 folks, they're in the internet column. Right? They're just not in eighth grade, they're seventh graders. And that's why you see 49 is here in the internet circle, but it's not included in the eighth grade circle because those are not eighth graders. These 49 folks, they're literally seventh graders that get their info from the, the internet. So that's where that 49 is on the table, right? And let me go ahead and just circle it again here. It was on the table and there it is on the Venn, great. And now let me change colors again, let's try green. So let's take a look at these 20 students these 20 students, they are eighth graders, right? But they get their information, their news from the television. So they need to be in the eighth grade circle, but they can't be in the internet circle. And that's why you see them over here, right? Over in the eighth grade circle. So those are our eighth graders that don't get their information or their news from the internet, or really they get it from TV. And then let me change colors once again. I will go with, let's go over here. Ooh, this one looks pretty. Let's go with turquoise. And if I circle that, those 13 folks, they're neither eighth graders, nor do they get their information from the internet, right? Because basically they're seventh grade folks that get their information or their news from the TV. And that's where you see the neithers in there. So this is our, our correct option here. All right, so then let's go calculate some probabilities. This first one says, what's the probability of I or E? And we have a formula for that. That's the probability of I plus the probability of E minus any overlap. And at this point, it's your call as to what you're more comfortable with. Would you sooner do this off of the table or would you sooner do this off of the Venn? I'm going to go ahead and just use the table, but let me just clean my table up because I've got a lot of markings on it. So let me just clean some of this out so that we can look at this next problem. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out where we are here. So for probability of I, the internet folks, I can see there's 117 out of 150. So let me go ahead and write 117 out of 150. All right, and then I need to get the eighth grade folks. So the eighth graders, there's 88 of them. So that's going to have me add 88 out of 150. And then I need to subtract out any overlap. Well, if I look for the and, right, on a table, that's where the row and column overlap. And you can see there's a 68 there. So I'm going to subtract out 68 out of 150. 
And when I crunch that number, I get 137 out of 150 or 0 0.91. And let me go see my options down here. Uh, I can see the answer. There it is. All right. And then the next thing I'm getting asked for is, and I'll, I'll just go look off of these. And why don't we use the Venn this time out just to practice it? I want E complement and I complement. All right, and here is the correct Venn. All right, so if I want E complement and I complement, if we think about who these folks are, they are not eighth graders. And at the same time, and, right, and they don't get from their information from the internet and not getting info from internet. Or I should say getting, I keep saying info, getting, I should say news from internet. And another way of saying that is these are seventh graders getting their news from TV. Oops, let me spell getting correctly. And so if I think about seventh graders that are getting their news from TV, right, I can, again, let me, let me actually scroll back up. If I wanna think about that from the table perspective, I can see it's these 13 folks. But if I want to think about it in terms of the Venn, I can't be in this E circle. I'm not allowed to be in the E's, and I'm not allowed to be in the I's, right? That's the things that I'm not allowed to be in because I have these complements. So that leaves me with these 13 folks. But keep in mind, you always want to make this a relative frequency or a probability. So we'll divide that by 150. And when we do that, we get 0.09. And then there's my answer. All right. So there's... Let me scroll this so we can kind of get it all at once. There is the solution to number five. All right, thanks so much. Bye.